Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com forward slash wise guy. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. That's at www.audibletrial.com, A-U-D-I-B-L-E-T-R-I-A-L.com forward slash wise guy radio. What is happening, everybody? Welcome to the Wise Guy Radio Show, episode Vante Quattro. That's number 24 for all y'all that don't know Spanish. I don't know Spanish that well, but I know 24 is uh, Vente Quattro. So, anywho, hope you guys are having an awesome day today. It's Friday. It's uh, hot as shit here in Florida. Uh, we just wrapped up a long week of studio build, and we're almost, almost done. I think it's tomorrow or Saturday. No, wait a second. Yeah, Saturday we're going to be getting the duct work wrapped up. Ventilation will be 100%. And it will be good to go. So I had a fun conversation today with this kid, Shane, who has a a new Instagram page uh, that goes by Glass Knowledge. You guys should check him out. It's uh, Instagram, you know, uh, whatever. It's not .com. It's just your Instagram app. I mean, I guess you can go to Instagram.com, but on your Instagram app, it's uh, Glass Knowledge, all one word. Uh, Weekly, he is putting out uh, some techniques. Uh, Every week's a different technique in the glass world. And then he has uh, artists that are known for that particular technique. And then he's doing a background, kind of like a biography of that technique type of thing. It's pretty cool. And uh, he's actually going to be a guest on Monday's show. And then going to be a weekly contributor to the show as well. Where we're going to be discussing and having him do a segment on a specific technique, um, you know, in the process. So anyways, um, so today's episode I want to talk to you guys was about commitment. And this was actually, a, uh, I had recorded this earlier while I was driving back from the studio and I am a completely exhausted beyond words. And I was talking and not making any fucking sense whatsoever. So I decided to stop the recording, get a little snack and listen to something else, and I put on my buddy Mike Sharkey's podcast called The Talent Show, uh, which is for podcasters uh, as a podcast host on how to be a better podcaster, and his whole show was on commitment and his commitment and why it's important, and uh, so it got me thinking, I'm like, well, shit, you know, that's an awesome topic for my week, and also for you all out there in general, so... I guess my perspective on this whole thing, you know, in terms of commitment for, as a glass artist, there's going to be days and nights where you're just like, man, I don't want to go in the studio today, I'm not feeling it, and there are some days I will tell you that when you do go to the studio and shit just does not go right, things, everything breaks, just go to the beach or go for a walk or go home, like get out of the studio, like just, you shouldn't be there that day, and if you have customers waiting for orders, as long as you're not in a financial pinch and you really need the money like that day, or what have you, send them all, people expecting a message, say, hey, I'm having a rough day in the shop, I apologize, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, But back to the commitment thing, this whole week, you know, we've all, the four of us and five of us really, we've all been doing like 10 a.m. to 5 or 6 in the afternoon, early evening on building the studio, and then either staying or going home and coming back and working until late. Like tonight, like I was there until 12.45. I was also there most of the day today as well. And, you know, I don't have to. I didn't have to do that tonight. But I know that some of you out there that might be listening to this are waiting for an order from me, uh, including my distributor right now. Now, And I've got to get back to work. I've lost four days, more or less, of full day of work. And got to do what i got to do. So think about that. You know, if you, if you say you're going to do something in an order... And I'm guilty as shit for this sometimes myself. You know, I can't always get an order out when I promise I'm going to get it out, which is, you know, shit happens. But, I, you know, if you're going to say you're going to do something, you know, you got to have integrity and keep that integrity. 
because in the in the business world, the one thing that you're earning from your customer is trust, and once that trust is broken, then you're fucked, and that trust could be broken in a community, you know, it's, you know, if you get blasted on Instagram or some shit, you know, whatever, so think about commitment, but really the commitment is to your craft, to the nitty-gritty, fine-tuny, educational things of what you do, if you're just blowing glass to make money, that's one thing, that's fine, people do that shit, it's to you, it's a job, that's cool. For those that want to be an artist and you want to learn your medium, that's where the true commitment comes in to really know the medium. Not just make pipes, but to really get to know how glass moves. That's why in a few episodes back I recommended that if you guys get a chance, um, and just so you guys know, when I say guys, I'm referring to guys and gals to the whole audience because uh, guys is just a lazy term I use, I guess. But the hot shop, if you guys get a chance, take a weekend class, you know, get a chance to go into a furnace and get a dip and really feel what that shit feels like. It's hot, it's bright, it is not fun, but it is fun at the same time. I mean, it's freaking amazing. And you really, by doing that, you'll fine-tune at home some skills. It's a way for you to commit to yourself. It's like going and taking a class. You're committing to yourself to your craft by committing a financial commitment and time to get an education. So, just think about that kind of shit. You know, if you're not feeling too motivated to go into the shop, just get your ass up and go to the shop. Find something that you can do to motivate you to be there. Unless, of course, you're sick or something like that, then that's a different story. But, truly, commitment is going to make you not only a better artist, better in business, better person, better friend, better husband, wife, dad, mom, everything. It's, uh, it's important commitment. So, um, yeah. So Monday show, got Shane, Glass Knowledge. Dude's out in Korea right now, so him and I Skyped from from here uh, in Florida. Uh, and him in Korea was my first Skype interview, so that was fun. Um, it won't be a video uh, video podcast, it's going to be just strictly audio. But the fact that I can talk to this cat, he's out in fucking Korea, blows my mind. Um... I think that's about it for today. Um, Yeah, so make a commitment to yourself as a glass artist, as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, everything. Make a schedule, stick to it. Be regimented, disciplined, and have some fucking fun while you're doing it. Put on some music that you can dance to while you're blowing glass. I love shaking my ass behind the torch. It's fun. Keeps me going. So, all right, guys, I'm rambling on. Uh, This is a short and sweet one, under 10 minutes. You guys take care. I love you all. We will see you on Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. All right, y'all, take it easy. Peace. Thank you guys so much for listening to this episode of the Wise Guy Radio Show. If you have any questions, comments, or remarks, please leave them in the show notes page area where it says comments. We'll see you soon. Have a wise night.